Hi, my friends. Today we are going to practice tracing, writing, finding, counting, the number five. That's right, today's number is the number five. Now the first thing we need to do is write our name. But gosh, you know what? This spot for the name is just so teeny tiny. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna flip my paper over and write my name on the back with my pencil. Here it is. Mrs. Means Huber. Now, I'm gonna be writing my work with a pen so that you can super duper see it with your super duper eyes. But you're gonna write your work with a pencil. Here I go. The first thing I need to do is write the number five. I'm gonna go back, down, curve around. That's the number five. It can be a little bit tricky at first. So let's practice. Back, down, curve around. If it helps you, put your finger up in the air and trace it with me. Back, down, curve around. Now, be really, really careful because sometimes kindergartners can accidentally draw this number backwards. So let's try again. Put your finger up in the air and trace it with me. Back, down, curve around. Okay, let's try another one. Back, down, curve around. Notice how I don't pick up my pen the whole time. It stays on the paper. Don't pick it up. Back, down, curve, around. Great job. And if you've written it three times, but it's still a little bit hard for you, you can do some more practice on the back too, if you're still trying to get the hang of it. Don't worry if you're making mistakes. Mistakes help your brain grow bigger. So keep on practicing and don't give up if it's still hard for you. Let's see, down here I need to find all the number fives. Here's a number five. <laughs> no, sir, you're not a number five, you're a number four. Get out of here, four. What about you? No, you're not a number five, you're a number one. Hmm, what about you? Nope, you're not a number five, you're a number three. What about you? Oh, wait, oh, oh. Yes, you're a number five. I'm gonna circle you. <laughs> and then you're gonna keep going across until you find all the number fives. Now down here, it, this is called a 10 frame. So I'm gonna write five dots in my 10 frame. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Five dots in my 10 frame. Look at that, it fills up the whole first row. Now over here in my dot cube, I get to decide how am I going to break up those dots and put them in the domino or the dot cube over here. Now, I have to think of different combinations or ways that I could make five. I could put one over here and then let's see how many would be left. One, two, three, four, four over here. Or if I did two dots over here, then there would be three dots left over here. So I could do it that way. Or if I really wanted to, I could put all the dots over here and none of the dots over there. That's another way to do it. Let's see, I'm gonna start with, maybe I'll do two over here. One, two, but then how many would be left? Let's see, if I already did two. Oh, there's one, two, three, left over, so I'm gonna do three over here. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four, five. Two and three make five. All right, my friends, today we practice tracing, writing, finding, and counting to the number five. Nice job.